Vladimir Putin is facing a mutiny by senior commanders, after he was told to F off by a furious general. The Russian army is facing a huge military disaster on its eastern front, after Ukrainian forces mounted a surprise counterattack over the past week. Kiev's army has captured more than 30 towns and villages and reclaimed 2,500 square kilometers of territory from the Russians within a matter of a few days. The incredible speed of the advance shows no sign of slowing down, as Ukraine's commanders seek to press home their advantage. Reports are now coming in of the strategically vital cities of Kupiansk and Izium falling to Kiev. Putin and his generals have resorted to pointing the finger of blame at each another, as tensions between the Russian leader and his military high command explode. The Telegram channel, General SVR, reported in a recent meeting called by a furious Putin, one of his generals could no longer contain his frustrations and told the Russian president where he could go. General SVR said, the most significant event of the meeting was a report to the president via video link from one of the generals, who is located much closer to the front line than the other speakers. Already at the start of the general's report, Putin began to have doubts as to whether he was sober. The president asked him directly whether he had been drinking spirits, to which the general reacted somewhat boldly. Moreover, Putin tried to put the general in his place with a blunt threat. The general wouldn't back down and told Putin to go you know where. He added, Putin stopped the video link and ordered his officials to shut the fair up. After the incident the president's mood worsened even more and he postponed the meeting until Thursday. The general SVR channel has regularly commented on Putin's health. It is believed to be run by Viktor Yermoliev, a lawyer from Kharkiv. Michael McFall, a former U.S. ambassador to Russia, said that the Kremlin is almost certainly involved in a blame game over the Ukraine debacle. He tweeted, I'm sure the blame game for Russia's failed invasion of Ukraine has already begun behind closed doors. I wonder when it will become public. I would not want to be a senior official in the Russian military intelligence or military industrial complex right now. Meanwhile, Russian troop morale continues to plummet amid the Ukrainian military onslaught. Dimitriev, a Russian blogger, said troops in the Mykolaiv direction were complaining about the endless supply of missiles at Kiev's disposal. The soldiers noted their incredible accuracy, as missile strikes continued to target Russian troop concentrations, supply trucks, and frontline positions. Putin's soldiers predicted that if things were to continue as they are, then the war would be over in two weeks. Lexi Arestovich, a senior advisor to President Zelensky, said that the Russian army was crumbling. He told journalists, we found a weak point and hit there. They were not ready. Two or three such defeats, and they will crumble. They already have one.